Hey, everybody. North Starball. Is this three days in a row now? Uh, really close. I don't think Feels it's quite like three. It. Did we do it on Wednesday? No, we didn't do it Thursday, we, so we took yesterday off. That's right, because it was our, like, half locals. So, awesome. tournament packs. I was hoping they for a bit more good. info, because uh, it's Friday. Like a band list, maybe, but too soon, I guess. We got we got enough revealed of the SCRs to have an idea of what they'll do, so like we can kind of plan about like what a deck might need, like um, like Majin Buu, Ch mischief, cheerful we'll, mischief. We'll, we can talk about that when the uh, card itself is revealed, and we can even talk about our tinfoil hat moment from over the weekend, but. That's fair. In the meantime, on Wednesday, they revealed all, not just one color at a time like last time. They revealed all of the tournament pack cards at once. Um, this was, I think, the single largest card reveal we've had in quite some time. Probably since the anniversary box when they just like let everything else spill out. Right. Turn myself down a little bit. All right. So let's just get into it. Really um... Dom and Dane are here, as always. Yeah. We consistent. I like talking about my favorite card game. That's true. That's also true. the only card game I played now that Naruto died many years ago. Hey, big announcement. They announced Digimon in English. Another is Bandai. it a big announcement? It's Bandai. Is it, is it a big announcement? Yeah, I know. But is it a big announcement? Everyone's kind of freaking out. Yeah, their Chrono Clash game kind of died really quick. Digimon is not as big as Dragon Ball. It's not even close to as big as Naruto was. In, in the U.S. And guess, what? and guess what? That game failed. So, anywho. Not wrong. Set 11 tournament pack cards. These cards are really good. They're really, really good. Really good. Compared to last sets... I, I don't think... I think this is maybe the strongest a tournament pack kit has ever been relative to its level. Obviously, there have been, like, individual cards that have broken that mold, but, like, an average power level, I don't think we've ever seen a stronger set. No, I think you're right. Usually, it's just, like, one card that's, like... Oh, set this is 2 had a relatively good one for its time, because it had, like, the Vegito here to save the day. It had the Ginyu Force. It had the... Kaioken Blue Evolve Goku. Uh, it had multiple cells that were decent, but not the way this... No, oh, this one is just so good. Some of these are, like, only archetypal, which makes them not good in terms of value holding and whatever. Well, but that's kind of how they always been, though. Re, I mean, kind of. But, like, sometimes if they aren't... Gen if they are a little less generic, though, they still have opportunities to grow outside. Like, they usually don't specify leaders. They're, like... They might share a thing with it, or they might have the ability to work inside. But, like, Bojack the Tyrant doesn't work in Bojack decks. You're not wrong. That card sucks. <laughs> makes me sad. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Um, yeah, I with got the red card. Red is one of the big winners, I think, of the uh, tournament packs. At least the Broly deck is. But we'll get to that after uh, you talk about these Gogeta guys. So these are uh, pretty standard in terms of what we come to expect from Gogeta BR. Is the Gokus and Vegetas are all 10k. And these ones specifically are different because we haven't had effects on mm -hmm. those cards yet regarding when a card is used for a union fusion. And in this case, both of these have great effects. I think Vegeta is a little bit stronger. Um, but basically, Goku lets you pick up a life when you activate union fusion, helping you self-awaken in, in slower matchups. And Vegeta Godly Aura lets you search for a Gogeta. So, uh, and then if you pick one, you have to drop one. So Vegeta is not a plus one. Goku is a plus one. But Vegeta is still tutoring for... Um, a generally pretty unsearchable name unless you spend two energy. But he does it for free. So I think what really is important about these two cards is that they are going to shift the conversation. People were already talking about the set six one, 
But I think now the primary conversation should be instead about the set six leader, um, as that will have the ability to play more Union Fusion. But also, the reason that deck was struggling was because of the consistency of not seeing the five and six drop. Now, the Vegeta will let you find your Gogeta pieces. Cool. I honestly think that's about it. They're just good fusion targets, and every deck should probably just include um, some combination of these prepping for fusion, aka the one one drops, preparing for battle, Vegeta, which is the one that lets you drop, and then, oh gosh, I guess the skill list if you're playing the new stuff. Awesome. Uh, you talk about the unison? No, because it sucks. It kind of does. <laughs> it's like it looks uh, like it's meant for the Gogeta stuff because it grabs the 10k skillless cards, um, adds them to hand. Plus one, choose one card in hand, discard it. I just never read like, it. Like, yeah. There, there are different things that are like okay about it. So, right, this plus one is a filter. I'm really not sure why you would ever want to shuffle in those 10k battle cards unless you were really desperate to get back your vanillas. But that's why you just run more copies of the one drops or these this tournament these tournament pack cards. Really not sure why you need to do that basically. Um I will say the minus 1 is pretty neat. Two energy to draw two. Um, I've heard that before, That's and then it's a 15k good. body. Um, the issue is, is that you are not drawing options; you are simply drawing numbers. So, for when you're pushing for game, it's good. When you're kind of setting up to win the game, it's not so good. Um, and then the minus three is uh, the second, third. It's like the third activate battle we've seen on a unison, counting a 25 or less. But it's a lot harder to keep this Goku protected than it is, say, Jiren, or putting him in for three energy like um, Janemba. Right. I didn't. Even, I forgot it was battle. That that's really good. Like it can pop a card. Well, the issue combo. is, is like you. But the issue is, is that your opponent could just hit it down below three. Right. It's not like Jiren. It's not a twenty k, so it doesn't really have that extra protection. Correct. All right. Can I talk about the boy? Yeah, you can talk about the boy. Oh so. my god, Broly BR is like tier one with this card alone. Because where have we seen a one drop swap that just gives you so much value for free? Uh, Once before and then it got banned. Exactly. This one doesn't swing like the first one did, but like you drop it with Vampa. Because, of course, you're going to play Planet Vampa every turn one. Because that's just how the deck goes. It's dumb. And then you, you hit this card, hopefully. Because if you hit this card, he comes in play. He just plays Ba. You're already two cards from life to Awakening. Ba comes in play. Search for a missing Broly. Grab any missing Broly. I usually get the three drop. Uh, I always mulligan for Paragus at this point now because now you have the three drop and then you play the three drop that plays Paragus and tutor whatever Kale or other Broly card you're missing. And I have, th uh, then you play the three drop. And then you have an Overlord if you really want to, but don't. I mean, One. overall, it's a plus two, three. Somewhere in there, something, that whole little like that. interaction. Um, and yeah, sure, you do you do lose two life, but you don't look at it as critting life. You look at it as cycling cards, as if you were adding them from your life to your hand or life to board. Right. The only, yeah, because the only one that this guy crits the life, Vampa, you add the life to hand, but you still have to discard a card, which is fine. Right, like I said, that's just cycling. It's basically since you play a card off of Vampa, it's basically like looking in your life to play a card out of it, which is the same thing as effectively drawing it. So and don't just... think of it as a 
crit life, guys. Think of it as a setup situation. Yep. And then just the fact that you have another one drop swap because they both have the effect if you only play one of this card per turn. Um, Let's you like... do two ta- two chains a turn, or um, honestly, just having more options for Vampa when you were like, because you could whiff, especially as you got to like that turn three and you already drew a bunch of cards. You could start whiffing if you saw them. That's true. Like um, now that these were uh, now it's like instead of on a Friday, where we usually do our little like spiel. Like I I got to play with it a bit yesterday. At our local, like, uh, little proxy games. And it was it, tough. It felt so good. And I had, like, two... I went really wide. Like, often. I thought this deck was just going to go tall. That's how it felt before. But now it goes wide. Like, I had three chains going... I had a Most game games. today. I had three chains going up. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy. Um, I think this card is very powerful. It just adds a a next. It was uh, the deck was already fairly consistent, but this adds a next level consistency to it. And on top of that, it's just more power. So, good job, yeah. Bandai. Good, good card. Broken card. Blue. We talked about it during our blue review, so we'll just go through it pretty quick. Um, Big Bang Attack is still silly. Uh, Dimension Magic that draws a card is powerful i i don't know what else to say about that um yeah uh baby saying power absorbed pretty okay uh negates skills so it prevents floating effects from really going off um particularly this will help a lot in two very specific matchups in this upcoming meta in go tanks and sin shenron where they both have effects that uh when they are removed x thing happens but you can instead negate their skills and send them back to the hand for just bottom decking him. He also has a counterplay. Ignore it. Yeah, you're not going to do that. The activate main, it's like so worth. Mm-hmm. Bumble one drop, you talked about it a little more uh, promisingly like yesterday. Yeah, the... Um... Or Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, we still need to test the now that Dane actually realized that you can activate main the field if you play more of the field. Like, might be able to get to awaken earlier than we think, but we still have to play test it. Like we said, the Vegeta deck will take a lot more deck building skill and maneuvering than just like self building. I think it's unfortunate because I think I'd rather just play actual self awakeners. I, yeah, I I'd, rather, I'd rather apply fresh. Like, I'd rather just run four Pan and four Vegeta and then kind of go on my day. Or, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Um, I think Big and then, go Yeah, through. another really good card. People seem to think that this card is, like, unplayable now because of the errata. It's because they had a taste or... of what it could have been. And then they yeah. I'm sorry, not dumb. I shouldn't say um, that to you. I'm sorry. When you add a 10k, when you add 10k to your leader every turn, you put a really huge disadvantage to your opponent. I want all of you to think back to the time when you were playing against Hachiak or Jiren or now set 11 Broly, and they swung at you for 20k, and you went, God, that's so much bigger than a 15k. Now they're swinging 25k, which is so big. And now we also have leaders like Zamasu, who become 25 dual attack, double strike if you give it Manakas. There are, are, this is such an incremental advantage card, and then it also, it also just gives you the option to active main, tap before, draw two. And in Vegeta, you're ramping, so that might be the best option. Or Zamasu, sometimes you're just looking for more power. You don't have anything else to play. Hey, you don't have to combo to get those cards, um, like Vegeta, and also... We have a guy at Locos that has been really hyping over an older leader that actually could use this card very well also is um, Reboot Beerus. Because he needs to win a battle also to deal damage. He needs to deal damage and to ramp. And just to go over again real quick, if you didn't see the last video or stream, the errata is it's two specific blue for the activate main. Plus two generic blue, so it's four total costs. But in a ramp deck, that just equals out to be two costs. Like, that's fine. Oh, really? 
it really doesn't matter. And then the activate main minus four instead of shuffle five mono blue cards is shuffle one. So it like got nerfed at one part, buffed in another. So balance. I mean, I'm still not really sure what the point of the minus four was. Maybe I guess to just like say, hey, you have to go to minus four or else I'll draw two. Or you have to keep me away from four or else I'll draw two. Um, draw four total like, in a turn, I guess. But But that's not like broken or anything, so... No. Uh, we'll see kind of how it ages, particularly. I think there will be decks, like, so far, blue unisons have been fairly generic with the ability for none of them to be absolutely broken for any given deck. Um, I think this card will be ridiculous in some co in some blue decks and pretty just not good in others. Agreed. All right. Cool. Green. I think you said you were not too impressed. <sighs> there's, Sadly. there's toolbox here. Um so if we go over these cards, right? Um I'll talk real quick first on the Goten and the Trunks because I think they're the simplest and also pro definitely the best cards of the group here. Um uh, maybe Vegeta's slightly better, but we'll have to see how that ages as well. Anytime you can have a one energy draw card, it's good. On top of that, these are important cards to have in your hand because they are the names at at 15k power. They also have a floating auto that is actually quite good of when they die, you recur back the fusion and the other one from the drop. I like drawing two when my 15k dies, and then because of the new set 11 cards, you can play each of these from deck for one energy. Not bad. Um, go tanks. I'm not hot on this card because Grim Reaper of Justice is so good. If Grim Reaper of Justice had unique, this card would see play. But it does not have unique. And there will basically never be a time where I'm willing to spend one less energy, but draw one less card and establish a significantly weaker body. On top of that, the idea here, it seems, is that you want to do it on turn two when you awaken. And that would be great. But is it worth giving up four deck spots for a card that you probably won't play very often to hopefully sometimes do it on turn two when you don't have a Vegeta super combo or need to resolve the secondary Goku active main, Goku active main, or keep up an energy for defense against aggro? Is that... A, a, a position that feels like it should be worth it i'm i'm not one to believe so nah and then um the vegeta i think it we get a one drop version of the servants which is neat and he's a 25k double strike on turn one because a servant no 15 he just gains double strike i forgot so he's like your generic but, like self awakeners, but with servant and Vegeta. But if you're he's running, he's literally the... just a second leader swing for one energy. Yeah, because he, he picks up a life, thing. and then you'll draw a card by servanting him, and then he's a 15k double strike. He's just the leader swing again, which yep. is good. I think this card helps with um, consistency of pressure and like turn one plays in a deck that does not have the quickening engine. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're not running the boo quickening, like you decide to scrap it and do other stuff, like I said, I think the leader is very versatile. And you can choose to run both or one or the other. But with quickening, this quickens it, of course. So that's but cool. I, I, I really just think it'll then start to come down to, if you just jam four Demigra and four of this Vegeta, um, into the deck, you'll have a turn one play every game, and then you just make the decision of which 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 one is better to have. Right. Well, outside of quickening, because you're gonna turn one play B Bob D or if, Hatch, yeah, Well, that's or, if that's field. if you're not playing. Yeah. Uh, if you're not playing the quickening. Vegeta engine. has options, and also this is a five k Vegeta. I think there's a lot of five k Goku's. This is like our lowest Vegeta, I think. It's uh, it's one of them. There are not a lot of 5k Vegetas. So like Vegito and Gogeta support in the future, maybe. 
All right, ready? Yeah. Next one. Yeah, the weakest color. I don't know. They have one of the strongest cards in here, though. But they do have one of the strongest cards. Overall weakest. Uh, overall. So. Should we just get... Ch no, Chi Chi has some depth to her. Gohan. Let's go with Gohan first. He just plays more stuff. Or rather, he like pluses stuff. I think what's really important is that the deck wants to kind of go off on turn three when you're playing the, the skillless engine as opposed to... Um, the skill drain skillless engine as opposed to just like a generic good stuff skillless engine. The deck can sometimes have trouble establishing enough skillless in its drop and hand to actually maximize that turn three play without comboing cards away, like unnecessarily. So this card kind of helps with that. It's, it establishes another body and it also draws two on play by tutoring out two skillless with different names. Also sucks. They should have just said two yellow skillless cards, not two different names, because now you can't just run a bunch of the Sun Gohans. Because if you see a bunch of Icaruses early on, or there's like two in life, one in hand, and one in one on board, then all of a sudden you're out of Icarus, and you have to only search for one card. So now it is unfortunately worthwhile to drop the double Gohan Icarus chain. You have to run like another uh, 110k. It is a monster, though, um, which is I nice. Yeah, combo, it is certainly mon, and that's that's honestly the biggest thing about it is that it's another yellow monster because yellow charge in that deck was kind of hard, um, and then now it's just you have a guaranteed eight copies of the monster to get that free draw, and I think that's going to be really powerful moving forward. It is just a pretty good card, not broken, pretty good. Yeah, uh, and I wish Ryder had a. Had a use, we'll get but there. it still doesn't. They'll get there. But scientists, they'll get, they'll get scientists. There. So, they'll get there. Chi Chi, she's actually pretty good for garlic, but it's not what garlic needed to be good. I am in, I am in complete agreement. Um, garlic probably needed a one drop unison or something that really it wasn't given. But this Chi Chi is. As a card in an engine, it helps its deck probably one of the most. Outside of Roshi, I think it's the second best demonic card. I agree. Wall transformation card. The biggest issue still lies in, in playing them you... and protecting them. <laughs> well, I was going to say that turning a 5 out of 10 to a 6 out of 10 is not as good as turning a 7 out of 10 to a 7.5 right. out of 10. You're just hoping the expansion set is the savior. Because it's um, literally, the deck has trouble starting, but if you go against a slower deck and you're going... It's really easy to snowball, because you draw a lot more cards than them, you establish bigger bodies, and then the leader will also stall by playing this Chi Chi now. Yeah, because the leader effect, if your opponent attacks, you can just play a Demon Clan for free in rest mode. But you don't negate the attack, but this Chi-Chi, when this card's play, No, you don't play it in rest mode, but you play a card. You choose up the one of your points, but no, is it rest mode? Yeah, you play you play Chi-Chi from your leader yeah. skill, and then Chi-Chi will rest a battle or unison card. Which is still very powerful. You know, certain unisons really need to be swinging. So, right, if you're playing against something like Piloth, and you tap down their thing before they get triple attack, cool. If they're playing... AOD. Um, that before, AOD. Uh, and you hit that before they swing, great. If you play um, against yellow, I think is the biggest one, because Meki Kabora, if you can tap Meki before they have the opportunity to block and like do all this mean stuff to your energy, awesome. Yeah, Chi Chi's good. The deck, the deck sucks. Still. Still. Yeah. And then they have like this card on the right, Natron, which is probably just like the best card in the Back. Why? So a double strike, EX evolve on the two, which they were already okay because they can like recycle cards into your deck if you really need to. The Natron chain, but then this well, I guy think it's has just to crazy. show up. If it was a two energy 15k double striker with no other skill, it would still be a pretty solid card. I agree, but it, but it also has a once a turn giant ball effect. And it also hits unisons. That's the crazy part. Because this guy can come out like 
Turn one. Turn two. Turn two. Yeah, because you got to pay one still. Sorry. To evolve. Turn two, you have this out. Your opponent, like, can't get going because you're negating cards as they play them. And in rest mode, so you can just kill the card coming in play. Yep. And it's a 15k double strike, so it hits most unisons. At least the set 10 ones. Um, and then it'll start to hit some of the others as well. It's there's a lot of text on this card that are just all very good things. Shadow dragons are still showing to be the best toolbox deck in the format. Just because the they're just going to get more toolbox tools as for the, their box. As the game goes on. Well, yeah. because the leader specifically just says shadow dragons, doesn't specify color, doesn't specify cost. It just says shadow dragons. So they, for the rest of the game's lifespan, cannot print shadow dragons that are too broken. Yep. Um, at the very least, you will always play this card at one, just so you can have it in your drop and then play it on turn six. Yep. Black. Cool. Black's really good too, actually. I think we got another old realm six dual attack, straightforward. I think this card is really weak, to be honest with you. I think that if you're gonna over realm six, there's just other things I would rather do. Like this other old realm six, but this is another evolved Either... target for the Goku, at least the SSR. It is. Either this one, or I was also thinking about um, the Man on a Mission, the Vegeta, and the Bardock that are all over Realm 6 and are really powerful. So. And this old Not bad for clearing battle cards. This Goku can actually grab the Evolve card, too, I think. I think it's not an 8, right? No, it's a 6 drop. So you can, yeah. And it evolves from. Yep. So you can grab the Evolve card and just evolve over it. Also, a 30k for Broly. Neat. 30k for Broly. I think it's just a really powerful card solely because of the fact that it recurs. Um, black is a color that when you mill your things, sometimes you just never get them back without playing like big combo pieces. I think Trunks Power Overseeing Time, Vegeta Time Regulator, plus like a deck shuffle. Um, and these things are fine, but this Goku just kind of bypasses that and says, hey, just grab the card that you need. Go ahead, go. Yep. I do want to stay with Bardock real quick before we get to Mass Saiyan, because that's like a whole other topic. Is Because mm -hmm. uh, weren't you saying the Goku with the Gohan Unison could get six pretty consistently? Yes. So that, I guess for it, that it, it deck. Immediately... And then he's also like pretty, a bit more aggro. And then if you're running the SS3 Bardock, can evolve over this, I think. Yeah, so. but if you play that card, you're... Which is uh, three, three swings, two swings, and a triple strike. Please, please, please don't play that we, card. We can have please fun. Don't pay, I like please that. don't pay five for that card. It, I mean, I like it too. It does a lot of things. Restands it's an energy, fun. draws a card, warps a battle card. But um, it's not worth five. No, I think the other Bardock is probably what you're going to play, the super rare, because that card's fun. Or, or the mm -hmm. special rare. And then, uh, um, Matt saying, do you just want to, no like, more. not lose the victory strike? Um, is that how victory strike reads? It has to deal damage. Oh, and then you don't take damage. Cool. So it's not like you can't add cards from your life to your hand. Yeah. So this is bringing um, up, like, this. I don't know why this is, like, such a weird debate on the Facebook group. Where everyone's UI, like, oh, uh, you can just... Apex oh, versus... No, HOM. Everyone's like, oh, just HOM. Okay, cool. Oh. That deck hasn't been a thing in a year. Yeah. I don't know why we're being stubborn about a card coming up that stops OG Victory Strike. <laughs> I know that this probably doesn't stop Apex, so you can't activate skills outside of extra cards, right? Yeah. So this doesn't stop Apex, but it stops OG Victory Strike. And I guess people mm -hmm. are stubborn about their now $700 card that, cool, we have a card that just stops it, but everyone's like, oh, but HOM can tap all three energy. Cool. Show me that deck. Bring that deck to an event. Work. Let's go. Your, your uh. Uh, path of <laughs> greatness counterplayed. I don't know. Yeah, Trunks is live on turn two now, guys. Yeah. Um, realistically, I just think this is a great card, like, 
in any black deck that isn't hyper aggro, just run it at like two. Because it basically means that they can't ever dump on you. They can never dump on a double or triple strike for fear of just, oops, never mind, no damage, thanks for wasting a bunch of cards in hand. Or quad, take that, Jiren. Yeah, or quad. <laughs> um, it's a really powerful card, and I don't think there's as much discussion really needed around it, because I think it pretty obviously is, like, clearly powerful. You won't use it in every single situation, right. but there are going to be times where it wins you the game. It does its job it's well. It's a it's a um it's a meta game card. You have to because of its existence, you now have to play against the black slightly differently at the end game. Yep. And I just think people just need to stop being stubborn and enjoy card games. Cards change. Meta changes. HOM's not a thing. Mm -hmm. cool. Hey, winner cards. I think these winner cards look a lot better than the last ones. Certainly better than the last ones. Um, I wish I, I don't think they're necessarily the, the foiling the shell, but those just look weird if I crop them. So, mm -hmm. I think I think they're fine choices. I just think that there were better ones. One, it's noticeable that red is missing. Red does not have a yeah, winner card. That's I wish it really did odd. Five. Which one got um, missing last time? Blue. Black. Black was missing last time. Black. No, they had Black. they had Vegix. So then yellow? Yep, yellow didn't have yellow. one. Yep. Yellow didn't have one. Um, these are pretty solid choices, but they're not the best. Except for um, Green? So, so let's talk about black. It should have been either one of the other choices would have been better choices, in my opinion. I would agree. Particularly, I think Mass Saiyan No More was a really obvious choice there. But Vermilion Bloodline, that's probably part of their reasoining. Yeah, and uh, Goku and Go Tanks. Stuff really stuff. Yeah, Go Tanks. I don't think they had a lot of choice. <laughs> um, Vegeta, you're not gonna pick one of the pieces. Vegeta got the SPR, really good SPR. I guess boy Bardock got an SPR though, so I guess it's oh that's Bardock Zeno, so it's different. I guess technically this is also Bardock Zeno. No, yeah, the other one is just Bardock, I think. No, Bardock Zeno. Ah, okay. Still uh, weird. Natron. Natron. That's good. Should have been one of the should have been one of the sets. It probably should have just been Gohan or something, because Gohan didn't get any shiny like SR or anything like that. I guess so. Would, yeah. Would have been pretty cool just for them to have for that deck to have a shiny card. But Natron is fine too. Sin Shenron just already has multiple. Like it already got an SR in the set, over one of the archetypes that was literally made in this set. Yeah. Makes sense. I can get behind that. Goku uh, is the best looking one. I say. Yeah, I agree. It just uh, sucks, but it yeah. needs an errata on release. That's the only crappy part, I think, about it. And it's going to be printed in the um, well, what's it called? Revision pack. Revision pack. Back, it's going to be out available during sneak peeks. But we'll probably see what's going to be in them probably next week, hopefully. But yeah, I like that choice. I don't like the baby stuff. Already got so much stuff, and then there's probably a, is a baby SCR probably. Those were a little sneak peek today. So baby Hatchiac is my guess. We'll probably find out with by uh, the end of this weekend because that's how the secret I orders also, go. I would also have my money on baby Hatchiac, and then some dark demon realm thing for. The Rainbow Unison. That or Vegito S is for Zeno. I on it. The first letter is S for um, the red card. So I think it's going to be SSB Gogeta or SSB Gogeta and SS, SS Broly or whatever. Yeah, it, I could see a duo card again, like Apex. That would be cool. Like a because little they, both seem to tar they both seem to target um, that 35k red card. So. Oh, it's going to be Majin Buu then, you're right. I agree. <laughs> uh, I think that's basically all we have then for today. Um, pretty short, all things considered. Really makes sense. There's not as many cards. Uh, but the power level of the cards are a lot higher, but we basically just talk about what they add to the deck as opposed to the deck. Right. 
Awesome. Any closing remarks, Tom? Uh, I that's that's been uh North Star Ball. I uh, hopefully these tournament packs aren't uh super hard to get like last time, but I think that was because every store vet could try to get a whole month's worth of champion packs, store championships, which means you didn't sign up for weekly tournaments. So I think that's why uh, the set 10 is short printed right now. And even though people say our locals aren't happening, stores can still sign up to get them and distribute them with purchases. Your, talk, talk to your local store. Talk to your local store to talk to the distributors and Bandai. Because Bandai, Bandai now gave permission to sell them as additions to extra like when they sell product right basically bandai wants these cards available to you they don't get money off these not getting sent out so it's bandai is not trying to be like hey secondary market they have no care for secondary market so yeah and hopefully set 11 uh don't sign up for a whole month's worth of store champions because we're going to get the same packs anyways at least put in one week of tournaments so you get your allocations. So mm -hmm. just stay on top of your local game stores. Even if you can't go to tournaments or can't like hold games at them, just still support the game. There's no events, but you know, we can't just sit here without cards or else Bandai doesn't have a job. The people working on the card game won't have a job. And then I don't have a hobby, Dom. That's way more important than people's exactly. jobs. <laughs> More, way more important than going to a regionals or nationals. They're just there to play the game at a higher level, but we don't need that. We need to play the game first. Be able to enjoy awesome. the game first. And that's my soapbox. Awesome. <laughs> that's our soapbox. Yeah. Thanks for joining in, guys. Um, I think we will be at some point in this later week, uh, including maybe even right now, uh, doing some live testing of some set 11 stuff, um, playing an open hand revealed. So please be on the lookout for that video. Or if you were watching live, please continue to watch live. Yeah. This I has think been Dom and Dane. Have a good one.